Welcome to 7283 Guilford Road in Upper Darby. This is the house we're looking at here that my car is parked in front of. Looks like a nice street. Good looking houses. You know, it looks like a neighborhood people care about. Okay, let's go in and take a look. Got nice sidewalks. Steps look good. We got gas. This is like a uh, sunroom here. Of course, the tenant left some trash all over the place. This is a nice sunroom. Got it's a cool area to sit in. A lot of windows. Five windows and a glass door. You enter into the living room. Leave this open so we can get some light because the tent has turned off the power. So we got a window over here. We got the sunny room. We got the staircase right there. There's a basement door. Turn this way. We got the kitchen. Cabinets look like they're in pretty good shape. Maybe the dishwasher, the stove, and maybe the countertop could use some changing. Depends on what you're gonna do with it. Got a deck out here. This is the deck. So there's like, instead of having houses right on top of you, there's this breezeway, I guess you call it. Got an access out here and probably a good place to park. There's some kind of uh, good looking houses over here and some kind of power company down the street. This is the back of the house, you can see it. Let's go upstairs. This little cook closet there. Open that up. Looks good. Somebody wrote on the back of the door, kids, so I had to just paint over that. Carpets need to be replaced. Handrail looks like it's in good shape, very solid. This is the master bathroom, master bedroom. This brown room is the master bedroom. It's got the uh, these board heaters up here. Oh, those blinds just fell down. The roof is good on the front section. Crappy paint job, that's all. Have to be repainted. Some of the interior doors got holes in them. That's Solid doors though. Here's your bath. You know, it's old. But the floor looks good. Little pedestal sink. I don't see the ceramic tile being damaged, so I might be able to save that. Just pop in the vanity, clean up the tub. But the tile looks pretty good. Looks like it's not broken anywhere. Got a skylight up here. Looks like it works. This is the second bedroom. Some kind of roof leak in this corner. Don't know what the story is with that. You can kind of see the roof. Maybe look at it from this way. It might be better, I don't know. Looks 
like it's uh, older. I don't know if it's leaking or not. Some blinds and crap was left here. So that's, so you got two bedrooms upstairs and one bath. Typical layout. And we got another floor. The carpets are wasted down here. The kitchen floor needs some work. Of course, a floor over there too. So I'd say all flooring has to be redone. If you're using it to be a rental. Okay, so here's our water heater. I don't see a date on it. And here's our heater. Let's see what we got on the water heater. 40 gallon. I don't see a date. And on this side. Is the heater. Okay. And somebody built a bathroom here. So. Looks like it's. You know. I wouldn't paint it red. But. Uh, or red handles. Go maybe replace the vanity. The rest of it looks okay. Except the red. Uh, toilet. That's a window that faces the front of the house. So this is a full bath. So we have two full baths here. Got a closet underneath the staircase here. And this room over here looks like somebody turned it into a laundry room. So you got your uh, dryer goes here and your washer goes on this side. It's kind of tight, but it would be a separate uh, laundry room. I don't know what the hell that beam is. What is that? Hmm. I don't know. Um, there's the door that goes into the laundry room. And then you got a driveway out back where you can park your car. Here's your control panel. It's all marked clearly. Of course, the tenant left all this trash. I'll see what I can do about that. And uh, step over this. I'll call the owner and see if I can get, get him to take out the trash. Um, this is the back of the house. So that's what the back of the street looks like. And that concludes our tour.